One important part of the movie is you show her lyrics on, on screen. I mean, I think there's at least several times um, throughout her career, uh, which not only shows how great her lyrics were, but her lyrics were really, really drawn from her life. Uh, I guess I'm kind of answering the question here, but why, why did you choose why, to why make the lyrics such a big part of it? <laughs> yeah, you just said it. I mean, when you, when you, the way the film works is you kind of have a moment of her life. She, something happens. She essentially writes a diary, and the diary becomes like a song. And then she stands up with a guitar and sings it. And you realize that every single song was based on a real person, a real incident, or a, a love affair, or a broken heart. It, you know, it's, it's essentially the map of her life. The kind of spine of the movie is her lyrics and her songs and these performances. And even when things look heavy, when she stands up and she sings, you just you get blown away by her talent. Um, and that, that's really what it's about. It's about realizing that all of her songs are about truth, about her kind of dealing with issues and trying to turn something negative into something positive. Nick, what would it be like for you to read her lyrics uh, as her friend to know what was going on in her life at the time or, or to hear a song like Back to Black uh, when, when it's juxtaposed against what's happening, it, it just takes so much more poignancy. Yeah, I mean, I was always really interested in her lyrics because they were always so witty and they all have double meaning. They're normally, they normally mean something quite deep and very heavy, but the same line can mean something really piss taggy and funny. Um, so, you know, obviously when she was going through her troubles and Back to Black came out, I, I listened to the lyrics and I knew that there was going to be a lot of her feelings and what was going on in her head. Um, I mean, the album's called Back to Black. It's, it's uh, these things, they were all, always there, those the sentiment of what she was going through. Um, I think after she passed and after the story, sort of her life went the way it did, obviously it all becomes glaringly obvious. The time, although it is obvious, is not necessarily glaringly obvious.